This is a quick video for people looking to get the same functionality of machines like the Venus for Men or Trembler from the inexpensive kits designed for cows and goats available online. I'll go over their parts, how they work, their limitations and differences with machines designed for people. For around $100, these kits come complete with the pump, pulsator, tea cups, liners, and all the required tubes and connectors. The cups included are typically 6 inches long. They taper from a 2 inch wide opening to around 1 inch at the end. This leaves the liner with its 1 inch wide opening, very little room to expand. Ultimately, they just are too small. You can make your own receiver or buy one from the Venus for Men website, customized to fit for around $30. These milkers use a pulsator to cycle between two phases. In the milking or expansion phase, vacuum pressure allows the liner to open, pulling the teeth in and collecting milk. Next is the massage phase. The pulsator opens the valve to the atmosphere, so the vacuum in the cup is lost. This causes the liner to squeeze together which closes the teat duct. It's important to understand that only the milking phase of the cycle is powered. There is no force pushing the air back in the massage phase. This really limits the total airflow and minimizes any movement. This is good for animals, reducing any damage to the teat. However, it isn't the same for people, since the volume of air moved each cycle determines the stroke length. The speed or rate of the cycles at a given stroke length determines the airflow required. While the pumps in these kits typically have airflow ratings between 6 and 8 liters per minute, the valve and lack of force in the massage phase restrict the total airflow to under 5 liters per minute. This results in minimal stroke lengths, reaching about an inch. Speeds are designed to mimic a calf between 40 and 45 cycles per minute. The pulsator makes adjusting the speed and stroke length difficult. Typically, if anything is adjustable, it is only the speed of the pump. So, the performance is disappointing, but are they worth it for the parts? As far as value goes, Amazon has vacuum pumps rated over 15 liters per minute starting at $20. For around $10, you can get valves with double the airflow. The pulsator can be replicated with increased functionality on an Arduino or ESP with a dual channel motor controller for less than $20 total. Those upgrades can make a very fun pump, but they still don't get close to the airflow for long strokes or fast speeds. Machines like the Venus, Trembler, and Milkit use reciprocating motion to cycle large volumes of air back and forth in a closed system. This requires much less work than pumping and venting. It also allows for independent adjustment of speed and stroke length. The Venus uses a rubber bladder to push and pull air around silently. The Milkit is based on a thrusting machine, but it thrusts an air cylinder rather than a person. You don't need to spend $1,000 just to find out how a machine like the Venus feels. Including everything but the receiver, the manual milker can be built for under $40. I'm finishing up a video showing the build with a list of parts. It is incredibly simple and can be assembled with only a wrench in less than 15 minutes.